Hello friends, I have this new really exciting training that I'd like to share with you. It's this house that I mostly build with my own hands. I have created it with the help of one other laborer at times. And very rarely I use two other guys to assist me with the walls and placing of the metal roofing. My new training is unique in a way that you will learn to manifest your dream home first in a blueprint drawing on graph paper and then in 3D CAD and then I will debrief you and share how my design decisions affected the real life scenario. Why did I choose such a build? I have so many designs. Well you see when we bend the timber to its maximum and place it on these walls the height was going to be the same as in our vault in Siberia which is only nine feet high at the highest point point. and when I presented this information to my wife she said no we want more height so we took that very arch turned it upwards leaning on another arch and thus seven arches were constructed which gave us a whopping 18 feet high so you could really go high if you build up hyper adobe stem walls and place your home on top of it let's go and check it out inside So let's talk about cost and I think the best way is to show you a real life example. These two triangular custom windows without an arc were quoted to me $800. Just to give you an idea, these giant four windows second hand cost me the same amount of money as these two tiny triangles. So I purchased another two slightly smaller triangles for 12 times cheaper just because they're second hand. The timber struts can be made from plywood because plywood bends fantastically. The covering can be made from palleted wood that's harvested so it will take more time I'm not going to lie to you but if you want to build it for absolutely no money you need to be prepared to put in your time but otherwise the structure is solid absolutely solid and I'm proud of it here I was the creator I was the one that built this thing and as far as the building code goes imagine that the floor is 200 square feet or under which keeps it under the building code radar then just below where I'm standing we create a giant dream catcher net just by screwing in the hooks into the arches and weaving in the net South American style which gives you another 200 square foot for your kids to climb to put your bean bags to chill whatever and I believe if you have another floor with five feet or less above you then that does not classify as floor space right about here perfect room to sleep to have a little cozy nook and that'll give you another what 100 square feet at least so thus we have a 500 square foot home that stays under the building code radar so as you know, I'm the love of Hyper Adobe. To date, I have used eight and a half thousand meters in all my projects, which is about 25 and a half thousand feet of this wonderful material. Of course, learned in US at Cal Earth, and I've just gone crazy with it. I've built, <laughs> I've built so many things from Hyper and Super Adobe that it's actually exciting. And in this, time I've used it as my stem wall developed this amazing method to mount my straight timber struts to it rock solid here will be a bath there is a wall going here a custom bath which I did in South Africa here'll be an entrance and a toilet all the plumbing is gone in also I'm designing an oven here so here is an air pipe that will deliver fresh preheated air from underneath the ground 30 feet long into the chimney and then it'll preheat it by the chimney further freshen it up and then through the floor we're going to have some little gaps left around the perimeter and that stale cold air will be sucked in into the combustion chamber go through the heated masonry couch and go out so we'll have an interesting air circulation which we will also share with you in our training so with regards to the building codes you can have this entire structure dismantable on a platform 
should you choose to or on the screw in foundation so you could remove this home should shit hit the fan and the landowners or wherever you're building ask you to leave this entire structure is dismantable instead of nails i just needed to use screws and there is the polystyrene which is available for free that you can shred and make amazing insulative materials for almost no money. I will guide you every step of the way on how to construct this wonderful home, including the bath, and I will throw in the water organizing module from the Earthship Academy that I've learned. And that basically takes in that water that comes in from underneath the ground, from your well or from your water tank and pressurizes that water and delivers it to your shower and all your taps. As this is my fifth online training, the camera angles are smooth, the information is precise and I go every step of the way from the construction. I design my courses in a way that a novice builder can build it that never held a hammer in their hand. In fact, if you do not understand something from our lesson, then you can reach out to me in Telegram, in our Gothic Arch group, and I will explain to you exactly and possibly add some additional footage if needed for you to get what I'm trying to explain. So all the mistakes of what I did wrong on this house will also be explained to you so you do not have to repeat them. And I think your next question might be, show us the footage! And of course, all of it will be edited into digestible lessons. You will be able to start your construction from the following spring, use the winter time to plan, and to salvage all the building materials that you'll be needing so you can have the construction flow smoothly in next building season. So why did I choose this building? Yes, Watelarium is my main dream and my main focus of my life. However, Watelarium is a complex home that needs a lot of R&D for it to be simplified and made digestible for you guys to be able to build it without any mistakes. And whilst I do that, I need to live somewhere. And I found this Gothic arch to be the fastest, largest and the easiest and the cheapest method of construction that I could possibly find in all the years of my natural building experience. So I welcome you to come and join us and build this incredible Gothic arch for your family home. Aho! <laughs>